Uh, we filed for a declaratory judgment um, seeking to stop the city of Martinsville from trying to force Henry County uh, into arbitration to essentially approve the voluntary settlement agreement. Uh, for many months, the county and the city negotiated in good faith to try to reach a voluntary settlement agreement concerning the matter of reversion. Ultimately, you know, the Board of Supervisors did not reach an agreement with the city, um, and we think the matter should be resubmitted to the Commission on Local Government if the city wants to pursue it and consider it through that process. But um, the city is interested in um, or has uh, filed to have an arbitrator, a private arbitrator, decide this matter. And we think that. Um, you know, we, we filed a declaratory judgment asking the court to order that that arbitration be stayed, not take place, because we don't think we have an agreement to arbitrate, uh, and we also just fundamentally don't think this matter is important as it should be decided in an, by a private arbitrator uh, at this time. I mean, does this put the brakes on it? Uh, I, I, I don't really know how to answer that question. I mean, I, I don't know how the city's going to pursue what they want to do, but. Obviously, you know, we, we didn't reach a, a settlement agreement with the city. Uh, we don't want an arbitrator to decide it. We, we think if the city wants to continue to pursue reversion, they need to file their paperwork back with the Commission on Local Government and go through that process. Right. Which, so, which judge uh, is going to... I, I don't know. Any idea of the timeline? D I don't. Is this done locally? Uh, yeah, we, yeah, we filed it in the uh, Henry County Circuit Court. And um, I, I don't know what judge it will be assigned to. Is it, I mean, like a Henry County judge, or I don't know. I, I just don't know. Is this like new new ground? Uh, yeah, there's not. Obviously, there's very few reversion proceedings brought. Uh, so um, I, I don't know if, if I just don't know what judge would be uh, it would be assigned to. If it'd be a local judge or a judge brought in off a list from the Supreme Court or something. So would would they continue? You know, that we heard keep hearing with the three judge panel and all that. Well, so the the. The three-judge panel is a later, it, it um, comes into play later in proceedings, like if the city refiled with the Commission on Local Government to pursue reversion as they first filed, um, the Commission on Local Government, if they approved it, then then and then and it could be submitted to a three-judge panel. Did but they start over again? I mean, uh, well, the, I mean, our position is that we have no settlement agreement. We never reached a settlement agreement with the city, so if they want to pursue reversion, they have to go through the process with the Commission on Local Government and then the, to the three-judge panel. I, I don't know if people view that as starting over or not. I mean, we, we negotiated in good faith. We just couldn't reach an agreement. But th does that mean that y'all are looking at another deal? I mean, because the public's pretty confused on all this. Uh, I, at this time, we're, we're not negotiating with the city at this time. I mean, they are trying to take us to an arbitrator to have the voluntary settlement agreement enforced somehow, um, mm -hmm. but we don't feel that's appropriate. I, I mean, so we're... They're trying to force the voluntary settlement. We, the Board of Supervisors at their December meeting rejected the voluntary settlement agreement. And they, the city has filed to have an arbitrator decide that we should um, have, to, have to approve the voluntary settlement agreement. Now in a press release I learned last night that, that this vote they just took is part of the process. And that's, I think that's, that's confusing to the public too. Because you know, at first they voted to do it, and then at the, this last vote they said, no, we don't want to do it. Well, the, the Voluntary Settlement Agreement, which it's a process described in the Code of Virginia, if two local governments want to enter into an agreement, um, they, there's a process described. And, and we did, in fact, vote and approve a, a, a Voluntary Settlement Agreement in August to submit to the Commission on Local Government. After the extensive public hearings were held, both before the Commission on Local Government and then once the Commission on Local Government gave their approval, once they submitted it out to the Board of Supervisors and the Board of Supervisors held additional public hearings, uh, the settlement agreement wasn't reached. But you saw that mean paperwork from Eric Monday where he was saying that... Well, you're, that you're describing it as mean. I mean, I don't... I don't I'm a lawyer. People, well, I mean, we file stuff look, all the time. I mean, you guys are going through the procedure to serve. Eric just got his cop to come serve. Right. I mean, legal. I mean, they sent they sent a letter to, to Tim Hall. Uh, yeah. I don't know how mine got mine. Are y'all trying to do it a little bit differently? Well, we're I'm, we're just filing in court. No one has filed anything, okay. uh, to my knowledge, at the courthouse at this point, and this is the first filing. But we feel it's necessary because, again, we don't feel this matter should be decided by an arbitrator. This is a very important matter concerning governance of our community, our but school. You, but you heard Eric's language. He's like, y'all have just done everything wrong, and. I'm not going to comment George, on George, you got a pretty thick stack stack there. Can you tell us a little bit about <laughs> it's, what, uh, what, There why? is a pleading in here. that It's it's a request for a de 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 court. It, it's the same thing. I have two copies of the same thing. But um, 
yeah, it's, I don't even know how many pages it is, but it's probably 15 or 16 pages of a motion requesting a declaratory judgment and some other pleadings and then uh, exhibits attached to that. Does this have to get worked out before we can move forward? Uh, our position is what, what hopefully will still happen is a court will enter an order stopping any arbitration proceeding. We don't right. think it's pr appropriate to arbitrate this matter. Will the county uh, meet